Hi guys, it's me, Dim- Oh gosh, I moved my camera. Hi guys, it's me, Dimension Battles, and we have a set a booster pack. So, a lot of you guys wanted to see a new booster pack, so I spent a while and I made a new one. It took a while, but it turned out pretty nice looking. So we're starting off set eight with a bang already. We're starting it off with a booster pack, which isn't how I usually do it, but you know what? We're gonna do something different. It's set eight, it's gonna be exciting, so hopefully you do end up enjoying it. So, it says Dimension Battles, and we have this cool dragon here, it says Booster Pack Set 8, and on the back it says contains two commons, one rare, and two mystery cards. So you can see it says cards right there. So, this, the two mystery cards, is really going to be important. So, make sure to stick to the end of the video to find out about that, because it's going to involve you guys in the comment section, so it'll be exciting. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up this Booster Pack. I spent a while making it, I don't really want to destroy it, so we're going to open it up this way. Uh, am I peeling it apart correctly? I think I am, yeah, there we go. Just rip open the pack now, and we can go ahead and throw this booster pack aside. And we already are starting off with a brand new card. We have Ice Warrior in Training. A stage one common with 200 power and 200 defense, and Ice Warrior in Training's effect is, is when he summon you roll a die, and if even, you get he give one, you can give 100 power to any card, and if it's odd, you take away 100 power from this card. So. Basically, the entire idea is this is going to be a brand new archetype, which I'll make a whole video on soon. I have a whole bunch of them already. It's already completed, or there's still a couple missing, but it's already completed. But I wanted to show a couple now in this booster pack, and this is Ice Warrior in training. So, the idea is, is because they're in training, their moves aren't as like good, so that's why you have to roll a dice, and there's good and bad effects. So it's a pretty like weak archetype if I were to say. Usually they're not all stage one commons, but in this one they all are because they're all in training. The next one we have Fire Warrior in training. She's a stage one con card, 300 power and 100 defense. And her effect is similar. When summoned, you can roll a die. And if even, you can deal 100 damage to any card. And if odd, you take away 100 damage from this card or 100 power from this card. So it's like a trade-off ability. Another one where it may backfire because they're new at using their powers. And it was really fun making these artworks because I want to do a general theme where their car is a different... They're not their car. <laughs> their hair is a different color. So for Ice Warrior in training, there's like light blue right there. And for Fire Warrior in training, it's yellow and basically she's like a pyromancer so she's ready to burn someone and this one's probably freeze someone to death so really aggressive cards and they they but they look innocent so that's the idea is because they're in training still and the boss card might be like a master is what i'm thinking of doing or like a teacher that might be the ultra rare for this in training archetype but yeah they all have a different color streak in their hair and that's what makes them similar and the main reason why I was making this because I want to practice drawing people and different styles of eyes and anime hair, so it turned out pretty good. And next up, we have the new archetype. So, our rare card is Item Copier, which you've already seen from set 6, if you remember that, a stage 4 rare. And it says, this card's effect becomes the same as one item card in your discard pile. So, the, I had to show this card as an introduction because it leads into the next part. So remember how I said that there was going to be two mystery cards in here? Here's the mystery card. So we have Box Beast with a question mark. So here's what I'm going for, okay? I want to create an archetype with question marks, but I don't yet know. Oh gosh, my dog's barking. But anyways, I don't yet know what I want to like make the abilities or anything. So we're going to show the next card, but we'll get into that in a second. The next card I drew is... Uh, okay! I'm either gonna upload this as a second video, or I I'm just gonna have like two parts to this video. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm, pro I'm probably gonna have to edit this video. I don't really wanna say my whole, sh my whole spiel again. <laughs> I fed my dog and now he's fine. My dad's walking him, so. Anyways, let me keep on going. So, I'm creating an archetype we call the question mark archetype. There's literally a question mark in the text, and we have two cards so far. We have Box Beast and Knight. So she has this cool armor on, and Box Beast has this metal on him, and they both kind of have a gold and silver theme. So I don't know what effects or stats to make it, and item copier is a stage four rare, and keep in mind its effect. His effect is the item item copier skill is an item card that made a while ago, and his effect can become the same as one of your discard pile. So that is an interesting idea. It, so here's the competition. I want you guys watching the video right now to comment down what effect I should give these two cards right here. And it'll be the theme for the archetypes. Every archetype has a theme. Comment down what you guys think that theme should be. 
It doesn't have to relate to this item card. It would be cool if it did, but if you can think of an even better one, then definitely suggest it. And basically, whoever wins this competition, whose ever idea I use, or if I combine two ideas, then I'll link your channel and give you a shout out because so many people are asking for shout outs and I'll do it. But the thing is not a lot of people actually, like I've done shout outs before and no one really went to the channel of the person I shouted out. So we'll see if it works out. We'll see what happens, but yeah. So just comment down your suggestions. It'll be a pretty fun mini competition. I thought it'd be cool to do this considering it is the summer, so. Yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video and you like this booster pack, let me get the booster pack, and you like this booster pack unboxing, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Bye, guys.